Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. My name is Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today I'm gonna to discuss predictive models, and more specifically, the predicting the emotions of pro tennis players from match broadcasts, really interesting. And remember, this model, like all others, can be applied to the Apple Sports Analytics model and framework to create the optimal scoring profiles for players and help them execute their coach's game plan. And remember, if you like this video or find, or find it informative, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. Predictive modeling uses statistics to determine outcomes. Most often, the event one wants to predict is in the future, but predictive modeling can be applied to any type of unknown event, regardless of when it occurred. For example, predictive models are often used to detect patterns after the game has taken place. In many cases, the model is chosen on the basis of detection theory to try to guess the probability of an outcome given a set amount of input data. Going inside the inner game, predicting the emotions of professional tennis players from match broadcasts. Tennis is often considered to be a mental game, as it is an individual sport, and the majority of the time is spent preparing for the next play. Consequently, coaching is often focused on the player's mentality. The purpose of this study was to develop a method to predict emotions in sports. It's believed that emotions can affect the player's performance, both positively and negatively. In order to determine the effect emotions have on a player's performance, it must be possible to measure emotion during competitions. Facial recognition programs aid in this process. This study focuses on seven emotions, anger, annoyance, anxiety, dejection, elation, focus, and fired up. Images were gathered from a variety of data sets. Faces of players were isolated and assigned an emotion. In total, there were 7,952 images. Workers were found from Amazon Mechanical Turk who were asked to rate the intensity of each emotion from 0 to 10, with 10 being the most intense. Each image was rated by five people, and the median number of the ratings was used as the final intensity. This information was then used to train the model to detect emotions and how to label its intensity. This model was then used to analyze the facial emotions of Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Andy Murray, and Rafael Nadal at the 2017 Australian Open, including two matches per player. From this analysis, profiles was created for each player. These profiles indicated that each player experienced unique emotions throughout a competition. Anxiety was the most common emotion among all the players and the most predominant emotion of Rafael Nadal. Roger Federer was a player whose emotion was typically either neutral or focused. Andy Murray and Novak Djokovic both experienced high level of anxiety. Djokovic experienced being fired up, dejection, and anger more often than the other players, indicating that he demonstrated the most emotions during the competition among the four players. Elation and annoyance were rarely seen, with Andy Murray expressing these emotions the most. The fact that he experiences these two opposing emotions with a greater frequency corresponds with the reputation he has for being one of the most volatile players on tour. This data was used to test two commonly held beliefs. The first is that players' emotions are a response to how they perform, and the second is that a player's emotional reactions influence how they perform throughout the rest of the match. These beliefs were tested by combining each facial image with game context, including the score, the winner of the point, the server of the point, and the importance of the point. Three of the players showed strong emotional responses to their performance, the exception being Roger Federer. To test the belief that a player's emotion affects their play was tested by looking at the play following each facial image. Emotions affected the next play significantly for Nadal and Djokovic, with much weaker links for Federer and Murray. Coaches can use this information to help their players understand the relationships between their own emotions and how they play. 
If players were able to focus on letting go of the emotions that hurt their performance while hanging on to those emotions that improved their performance, it is likely that they would improve their overall performance and chances of winning. And that's predictive modeling applied in sports analytics in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.